OK YouTubers. This is Joe from Artanian TV. Another quick game of Inspirality Ice Spy Gun on here. Back on Mars, back in Gale Crater. We're at Sol 957, and here's the raw image. Now, uh, links will be below, as usual. Um, this is another quite grungy image from uh, the mask cam, uh, being over compressed, as usual. But luckily, with this, you can get it on the Gigapan, and you can also get it from NASA as a, one of their own Gigapans which is quite a high quality TIFF image. Still not great because the camera isn't in focus. Uh, one of the reasons why these images look so terrible a lot of the time is because they do not focus the lens on the camera. In, in other words, what they've set the lens to, or the camera to, is infinity focus. Now that means that it doesn't focus on anything in particular. As you can see, none of this looks very sharp. It all looks pretty soft, almost soft focus. Uh, now this means that the camera is not actually focusing it's just taking random lots and lots of random shots in a pattern what they do is they'll take them in a panoramic usually from left to right and then they will start at the top and work their way down or start at the bottom and work their way up until they've got a complete panoramic and then they, these will later be put together so I've got these pictures up in a folder here for you so there's, the, there's the, the raw image. Now, the part of the raw image you want to look at, or uh, the image you want to look at, is you've got this rather strange thing sticking up here, which may be a rock, but it's very odd. You go just below here, keep going down until you get to here, and there is this thing. Okay, now this looks to be, even at this level of zoom, you could probably just about make out a face on here. It looks like a head, a carved head. Could be an actual head. Could there be a person buried under here? Probably not. It's probably carved. Um, but it wouldn't surprise me if there are actually preserved specimens of uh, Martians on the surface. If there was a tsunami like there was in this area, then a lot of things would be buried, um, just parts of them sticking out, as we've seen before. But there are lots of statues in this area, so I, I, I would probably lean with the statue idea at the moment, because that seems more logical. <clears throat> so, let's quickly move on. Here's the catalogue page for PIA 19398 and this is where you will find it and the part of the image you want to look at is right here right on the far left um, just in this corner here that's where you will find the same spot okay now I've got it up here in my uh, folder here and I've already taken some clips to save time and this was initially posted by a guy called Laszlo on, um, I first spotted it, his post on Mars Discoveries and Solar System Anomalies page here, which is a cool page. If you haven't ch checked it out, check it out. Um, now, Laszlo posted this <coughs> a day or two ago, and there it is. You have a, what looks like the head of a child, by the looks of it. Not dissimilar to the, the child head I found on the moon, <laughs> which is enormous and, and crazy looking. Uh, check that out if you get a chance. It's, it basically looks like a child's head, what can I say? Uh, I'll show you what I've got here. I mean, he's already done a good job here, Laszlo. So, fair, full credit to him um, with that find. I'm going to turn... actually going to turn off Facebook here, because my graphics card doesn't like it for some reason. It really doesn't like it at all, especially when I've got other things up here. So, yeah, here's the panoramic. I'll show you that now. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Let's go to here. Let's have a quick look at the panoramic first. And yes, we want to go right over to this corner here. And we have that strange... Now you can see this a lot clearer because this is a TIFF image, so it's much better quality. But it's still out of focus, so still not going to look great. You have this rather strange kind of rock here with something sticking up on top of it. Now what the hell is that supposed to be? Have you ever seen a rock do that? Mm. Yes, right. Okay. So we go just below that, you follow it straight down, and you come to the head right near the bottom of the image. Here it is. Now, it doesn't look that clear here because there is not enough contrast in there, but you can see two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, and the skull, the head here, the cranium. Okay? And the cranium comes around and there's a shadow underneath. Okay? So, yes, this is very small. I, I would say this is only a few inches across. Um, it may be bigger, but it doesn't look very big. Um, it may be only two or three inches. Now, here's the, 
the clips I've done and I've just kept this really simple I've just added kind of auto contrast and, and um, here's the raw clip from the now this is the raw image mass cam image uh, which has been compressed so you can see the compression lines going through it here so that distorts the image you get these lines and blocks okay so it's actually better often to use the gigapan because it's already been cleaned up the gigapan is this one here's a straight clip from the gigapan I've done nothing to this this has just been color corrected by Neville Thompson and who's done a great job putting these images together as usual um, and there we have it two nostrils two eyes a mouth upper lip there chin skull can be around what can I say uh, if you get too close to it it just gets blurry but if you add more contrast you can overcome that I've got a clip of that here where I've added more contrast this is actually from the, uh, the raw image so it's, it's got these compression lines through so it's more distorted but you can see the face it's there it's definitely there and uh, this what I'll do I'll take a clip from the the, the, uh, the large TIFF file here and uh, enhance that for you because that might be better um, there we go here's a clip from the, the gigapan here two eyes two nostrils a mouth, a chin, a forehead, and right back round, back of the cranium here, coming round and under with a, with a nice shadow underneath it. There we go. What can I say? Um, answers on the postcard if you think it's something else, but what else can it possibly be? Um, there are too many of these things. Lots of people are still saying these are just rocks. Well, I've, I must have published now about 20 or 30 statue heads now. Some of them look like sphinxes, some of them look like... Uh, Olmecs or, or Mayans even, some of them look like Egyptians, some of them look like uh, Babylonians or, or even ancient Greeks or Romans. So there seems to be an awful lot of different types of art on Mars. Now whether that means there are different lots of different civilizations on Mars, probably. Um, they may not have all coexisted at the same time, they may, we may be looking at different periods in time here. We, um, there may well be uh, people even living underground there now. Um, I haven't seen much evidence of that, but of course we wouldn't because we're on the ground. But the next 2020 rover will have ground penetrating radar and will be looking for structures under the surface. So that's something to, to look forward to. Um, what else can I say about this? It looks like a head, uh, so it probably is. We have found many, many others. Um, obviously, a fair shout to Laszlo for finding this one. I missed it. I did look at this image a lot when I was working on it a while ago, about a year or two ago. But this is very small and I missed it and I often miss things. So it's always worth going back over some of these images, especially the large TIFF images like this, which are really quite good. Um, there's some other, there was this other thing that I published here um, also about a year or so ago. And I think this, they showed this on Asian Aliens recently, which I, which I gave them, which is this thing very strange. You've got these finger-like structures sticking up here and you have, <coughs> to all intents and purposes, what looks like a very very small step pyramid with steps going up the sides. See that? Now that is not natural. You cannot tell me that that is just a rock. And also seems to have a face carved into it. Okay? Insane. Absolutely insane. Very strange indeed. Let me show you it here. I think I've got it uh, Oh, I don't know if I got it there actually. Um, never mind. There we go. Um, I'll put some more clips of these in at the end. I'm going to take another clip out of this TIFF image here and see if I can get a bit more clarity from it. But it won't look a lot different. It may look sl very slightly better than this um, or this Gigapan clip here. Okay, but it won't look a lot. It won't look much different because, of course, the camera is not in focus. This is why these images look bad, because we're not getting the in-focus ones. They do occasionally focus the lens on certain parts of the background, um, but then what you have is that the whole of the rest of the image is out of focus, and only that particular point is in focus. What they will often do is focus on a, a large rock or something like this one here, which is rather odd, this one. That looks weird, this rock. It looks like it could be part of the top of a building or something, who knows. But they, they were focused on this kind of ridge sort of line here, but then everything else in the background would be completely out of focus. So it's, it's a toss-up really between the two. Um, <clears throat> I would rather see some in-focus shots, and we know that they do take them, 
and they z-stack the images, which is where they get lots of different images. They might focus on this part, then they do one on the middle section, then they do one up here, and then they put them all together. They would put the three images together, and they would have three, a composite of three images, <coughs> where everything is in focus. But they'll often do ten. They'll often take ten images and z-stack them, and then, and then you get a nice sharp, crisp photograph. But these aren't, um, unfortunately. So everything looks a bit blurry, but you can kind of add a bit of sharpness, but if you do that, they, they tend to break up. So there we go. Child's head, child's skull, whatever you want to call it. Is it a carving? Is it an actual head? Is there an actual alien below this in the ground? I doubt it. Probably a carving. Um, could be made of clay, could, could have been carved out of stone. Looks very similar to the stone around it, of course. But we're probably not getting the real colours of this anyway, so colour is not much to go by with these things. So there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.